Hello, board members. We gotta get us some uh, underrail in. Let's go see if this guy wants this head. Um, I think it's this guy would probably be the one who wants it. Yo, Quentin. Uh, trade? You are not interested in this giant monster, like the giant monster head? Really? Oh, this guy has magnesium powder though. This is the stuff we need for the advanced, uh, the advanced fire grenades, right? He has two chemical bolts. Sorry, femur gas grenade, incendiary bolt, incendiary grenade, leather armor, crosses plant for fungus. Short guys are interested in the beast head. Oh, okay, so it's just them? I was hoping maybe I could sell it to SGS, as I don't really want to further the efforts of Chort. They're kind of not good people, as we found out by, you know, accidentally discovering the back room where they're torturing people. Not exactly good people. Right, so now we gotta go over there. Let's go leave some of this extra stuff up here for now. Or you can mount it on the wall. I guess that's true also. I mean, we've never really cared about that sort of stuff. At least this character hasn't ever cared about that kind of thing, but... There's no reason we couldn't start caring. Dump all this stuff. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can afford to leave here right now. Doesn't really feel like it. We're gonna be fighting Protectorate. I have to imagine we're gonna have to fight at least one of those stupid uh, um, ar armored suit things. At least one. At least with our armored bull or armor piercing bullets, we'll have a chance of doing some decent damage. Because I think last time we shot it, it, it ate like 900% or nine, 900 of my 1700 damage or some nonsense like that. So I wasn't able to kill it in one shot. Which would have been super, super cool if I could have. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious if they're going to give me an actual explanation why the Protectorate doesn't doesn't want me dead after this moment. Hello, cave rabbits who suck. Alright, let's go deal with some Psy Beetles. I don't feel like wasting bullets on them. If I can help it anyway. If I can help it. Oh. Uh, hello. The man raises his right hand slightly above his head and greets you with an open palm. He is silent, however. Even though he appear his appearance suggests him to be a fisherman, you notice a crossbow strapped to his shoulder. Next to his fishing rod and an accompanied an occupied knife sheath attached to his belt. Um next to his colorful baits. Greeting, sir. He nods. He calmly rotates slightly to the left and points to the mesh bag hanging by the back of his belt, then grasps it and moves it forward to show you its per, per, its pricing content. He's deliberate with his motions as to not give a wrong impression. You notice him rubbing some invisible coins together between his fingers and thumb. He points at the fish and again before wa waiting for your response. Then points at the fish again before waiting for your response. Do you know a guy named Geezer Ford? He nods. Oh, yes. His eyes state more accurately. What do you know about him? He half smiles and proceeds to babble for a few seconds with the help of his right hand. He pretends to reel in some fish before returning to what now strikes you as a Morza. Boasting as you see the speak speaking mind rise up down as though to accent certain parts of the speech currently taking place in the fisherman's head. One time I got banned for saying, oh, the fisherman. 
when this guy showed up? <laughs> what? How did you get banned for saying, oh, the fisherman? From, like, someone's chat banned you for saying the fisherman? Hmm. His expression matches the content contempt of the sound he's just produced. Pizza apparently has a deal going on right now. Um, where are you from? He just shakes his head. I don't want to speak about that. His eyes convoy firmly. Can you speak? He shakes his head. Sorry to hear that. Uh, why not? He hesitates for a moment before opening his mouth and showing you that he is missing his tongue. It appears he has been clean. It has been cleanly cut off, in line with his wisdom teeth. Oof. His, he moves his hand as to outline several bulbous shapes where his tongue used to be for severing it with his index finger with a single clean slice. He shrugs his shoulders. Couldn't be helped. He's it's his sad, dismissive gesture and shrug to simply imply, but it could have been worse. His serious gaze continues. He then struggle, shrugs one more time. Yeah, since apparently he was so against spoilers that even saying that was... That was considered spoilers, apparently? Oh, you so you said it right before he, like, clicked on him? And he got mad at you for giving away what this guy was? Wow, that is some serious anti-spoiler technologies. Wow. And before banned again? I mean, the every once in a while, you know, we know how the bots get, and sometimes, like, ham sandwiches will get you banned. Yeah? Ah, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Something about fishing? He shakes his head a few times, entertaining tight lips with the rest of the face is fairly, fairly relaxed. I could pay you. He shakes his head again. Uh, do you ever shoot with a... He nods, but raises his index finger. Small fish. As it is between his hand shows. Then he does not shoot with a crossbow, and his hands move away from each other until they are about two-thirds the meter apart. It was, he nods confidently. He then takes an imaginary crossbow and aims it at the water, waiting one second before shooting an undetectable, undetectable bolt and pulling out an impressive, imperceivable thread, even simulating the efforts of hauling a heavy but ultimately non-existent fish. The only of the water is clear, his gaze reveals with the help of two of his un outstretched fingers. Any good fishing spots? Many, many, his smile seems to imply. His gaze wanders off momentarily as if pulled by a random thought, and then he conjures up a sprawling city with a few quick gestures. He holds his nose in repulsion, while his other hand's fore and middle fingers keep slogging through some imagined noxious environment. Fingers come to halt, and he raises his... his forefinger. Now there, I found a rare fish. But as he then follows up with a dis disgruntled, disgusted face and simulated stomach pains, it doesn't appear to be the most palatable one. As for his palate is concerned, at least... What do you got for sale? I like this guy. We might buy something. Yeah, no, he personally banned me for it. Wow, okay. That seems like a bit of an overreach, but... Sure. Yellow puckerfish, slackjaw... Looks dumb and edible. I... Mm. Mm. I... Mm. Okay. I don't... <laughs> what a description. I just, just like my ex-wife, but I'm, I've never been married and I have no kids, so I'm not referring to anybody specifically, just that description of looks dumb and edible. I'm surprised Dogbiter can interpret all this with his four intelligence. Yeah, right? Exactly. It should probably say something like he dances around and I have no idea what he's saying is what it should probably translate to. Or it should say intelligence four. I don't know what he's doing. He's dancing around. Something like that to imply like you're too stupid to understand what's going on. It's a miniature giant deep shallows hammerhead. Just a looking eel would make a great sandwich or it could be processed for medical uses, I guess. Um, Just give me one of your slack jaws. I'll politely buy a slack jaw. Well, it's not three. Can you technically get it to three? You can't take it lower than four, right? I mean, it could go down if we had some negatives to intelligence, but we can't actually make it four by choice, right? I like you, bud. Here's four Sharons. Give me that slack jaw. You have a good day, bud. Nice meeting you. You seem like a reasonably nice person. Three is min, min starting value that is. Oh, really? I didn't think we could take it lower than, than four. Okay. You could probably can with a penalty. Yeah, for sure. I think four is already considered so, sort of low, right? Because everything starts at five or whatever.
Wow, that music shift, though. Oh, did I leave something in this dumpster? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in this dumpster. Wait, where did all this stuff come from? I swear I went, I, I thought at one point I went through and cleared out this dumpster. I guess this, this is just all the stuff that was left over from after we fought and killed the that one gang? Weird. I swear I thought we cleaned that dumpster out at some point. Barter. Uh, all I'm really looking for. Yes, more arm, armor piercing rounds. Unfortunately, their inventory doesn't really get up, upgraded as time goes on, sadly. How much money you got? 9,000. You want three firearms, huh? Alright, I'll probably have that much firearms in here. Yeah, let's we'll do all of these. You can afford that, right? Yeah, you can. Perfect. Thank you. A dumpster of wealth and prosperity, basically. I must be thinking of one of my other characters. If one of my characters I went through and cleaned this dumpster out. I thought it was this one. It must have been a different one. Alright, so we gotta get over to the embassy. Because they said we would meet our group south of the embassy or whatever, right? But that doesn't make any sense because there isn't anything south of the embassy. Unless they mean in inside of Junktown. Strange. I mean, look, it's starting to change already. Oh, yeah. Hello, fixer. Medical supplies, what's the deal? See a few questions about junkyard. Mark some time, except changing coin. Come back away slowly. Come back soon. Huh. Alright. Alright, let's get a save in here. Uh, attack on. SG yet. No, I guess not. Uh, uh, Protech. Tech. Uh, at Junkyard? <laughs> North of the rail outpost above the embassy. Okay. Looks a little obnoxious that I have to, like, disquip all this stuff. anything else I'm really worried about stealing. We're probably about to kill all these people, so we're probably about to get a lot of random stuff. Sup? Sup? Upper level. There are a lot of people here. Got an auto turret. I mean, just one of them is not that big a deal. Security camera. Okay, we got three auto turrets on this side. Okay. Interesting. Barrel. Just a bunch of bottles. Random dead body check. Non-functioning non phone. Equipped all my nonsense. Did you bring EMPs? Yes. I always carry 10 of those around with me because we very randomly run into robots all the time. But yeah, I have EMPs with me. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Wow, there's only four of them. Really? What's this tunnel? Wait, there's a tunnel here? Oh, it's a it's a pig tunnel. And a motorcycle. Huh. Okay, that's good to know. Apparently this is an area I never really bothered to explore. 
How strange. But I have been in here, apparently. Cabinet, barrel, bunch of barrels? That's odd. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess none of this stuff is really particularly useful. Huh. Alright. Don't you dare let the Russian guy die. I mean, I'm not gonna let anybody die if I can help it. That's not the, the thing. Letting them die and them dying are very different things, you see. Oh, does this lead into the Iron Heads area? Yeah, this is the Block Alpha. So this actually leads over here to where the Iron Heads are. Weird. All right. Shred, you might want to, like, get some batteries. We will crush them. Birds of Cans from South Underrail. Man addressed you with a surprisingly even and smooth voice considering the apparent energy of the, of the group. Good to see you, brother. Everyone is here and are ready to show those filthy cans the, pa the painful side of life. Yeah, we're going to dominate the jerks. Hardcore destruction. Free drone style, he laughs. I haven't s split my tech tectorate noggins in a while. This is going to feel mighty good. This is my first fight with you. I want. I can't wait to how rocks steady say or hard boil decimate the most gr greatest evil cans in Underrail. Borja Blarja, poke the lich. Face palms. Face palms even harder. Face palms the hardest. Why you you say face smack? What I say wrong? It's my battle cry. Biarb Silbashik Pokalzik. Yes, all in all, I'm ready to move, brother, just say the word. Uh, not yet, I'll tell you when I'm ready. Or unless you say so. Alright. So Cool okay. <laughs> so the question then is, um sh can okay. Can I go in and soften the place up before they start the fight? Or do I have to start the fight? That way the protectorate don't hate me forever. I don't think I can win this fight on my own, but I might be able to go in and cause enough mischief. The latter. Okay, so I have to start the fight, otherwise all of the protectorate will hate me. Okay, got it. Well, that sucks. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we can give her a shot and see. I guess we can give it a shot and see. Okay. Commence. Commence the attack. Do you care if they hate you or not? Well, I mean, if they're going to attack me on site whenever I go to Core City, that's going to be really bad for us. Wouldn't that be, like, super, super bad for us? I mean, Junkyard, we don't really ever need to come back to for anything, but Core City is full of Protectorate. They would just constantly attack me on site, right? Wouldn't it basically ruin my reputation there? I mean, you, you all know better than me. I have, like, you know, 150 hours in this top, so you all have, like, multiple, several hundred. There's a turret that nobody is near. You might potentially be able to plant a TNT by it, run out of the zone before it detonates, and you re-enter the during the mission, and it'd blow up. Oh. There's, like, one or two guys at the docks. Really? So the rest of those, the guys in armor don't, don't count? Because there's all kinds of, like, protectorate people in armor and stuff all over Core City. Usually I just pickpocket the guys to sabotage the protectorate. Oh. Alright, well, let's do a little experiment. Like, we just... We just saved. Let's go see what happens if I go clean this up by myself. Those are Praetorians. Oh, is that different, then? I assume those were just different guys in the Protectorate. So the Praetorians and the Protectorate are different? I had no idea. 
The big area is that there's an infinite spawning amount of protectorate on the waterways. But yeah, yeah, that could be an issue. Okay, so we got what? Like three people there. Worker. On land, you can permanently kill them? Ah, oh, all right. I see. Curious. What a weird idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we can, we're, we're in a testing phase, right? How many people? Okay, correct answer is zero people are going to come to the sound of an explosion from TNT. Got it? No one cared about that explosion. some stuff in here. So you can put some TNT by a turret without anyone noticing? Okay. Oh, interesting. Ah, okay. So in theory, we can actually toast this guy. Potentially. Ah, okay, okay. That's actually good. To... Oh, I can't go in there without some gun. All right. Although I doubt it'll work. Yeah, I don't think there's any of the turrets that aren't actively being guarded. But there aren't any mechs here, which is nice. Like, no one can see this guy. So in theory, I could kill this guy and this turret, right? And no one in th should be able to detect me? Tina doesn't do much damage to anything that isn't rock. Oh, well, I, I guess that's true. I, I don't actually know. So in theory, let's test this out. No one is actively highlighted right now. TNT blows up turrets in one shot. And it's a controlled area. That's true, it is controlled. And traps are planting explosives near other characters might provoke them. Players of certain, remember certain factions take damage from your traps are explosive, they will automatically track it back to you and will turn hostile. Members of certain factions discover traps are explosive planted by you, they will automatically track it back to you and will turn hostile. Never tried it? Ah, okay. That's okay. I'm about to try something right now that probably isn't gonna work. Probably isn't gonna work. But we'll see. Let's try this. Shall we? Right, actually. Perfectly fine. All right, cool. No one cared that we just did that. Very interesting. So at least that aspect of, oh, nope, they're actively hostile, Never mind. Somehow they are actively hostile. <laughs> I 
Uh, but... Everything is great. Okay, we got one protectorate, two protectorate, three protectorate, potato. We got a worker over there. And a camera. This should be, in theory, doable. All right. Um. As long as we don't miss. Wrong button. It's okay. Worker's gonna have a terrible day. Well, I mean, he's gonna have a terrible 23 minutes before we shoot him in the head, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, for the next 23 minutes, the rest of his day is gonna be real bad. Okay. Okay, there's Major Clifton. Okay, the problem is I can't shoot Major Clifton. Oh, I can actually see... Okay, I might actually be able to pull this off. The hard part here is the door. Ah, uh, I can't see both. Alright, well, we'll take Clifton out, then. Actually, you know what I could do? Hold on. We could do it this way. Since we took out the patrolling guard, we could do it this way. Steal Clifton's keys and lock him in the, his office. I mean, if I had any kind of lock picking. Okay. What's going on over there? You don't, you don't actually want to know, bud. Do, do, do. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. I'm just gonna quit my job. He just walks back over here, takes off his jumpsuit, and just walks off. And he's like, hey, where are you going, Frank? And he's just like, oh, uh, I'm sick. Gotta go to the bathroom. Bye. Just leaves. Ooh, a, a P90 old world. Ooh. 60 20. Not, not as good as what we're using, I don't think. Oh, not even close. I guess the only real advantage this thing has probably got low AP costs. 11 versus 16. Yeah. Does that have anything good on it? 7 burst plus... Oh, burst shot plus 3 is actually pretty solid. Magazine capacity 50. Okay. I mean, it's not great. It's not terrible. It's not great. P90 is one of my favorite real-life guns. And this is an, N an NFR90, which I'm assuming is a reference to a P90. But I do have his power box key, which doesn't really matter. We're not worried about that anymore. Got the security camera. Do this the right way. I might be able to pull this totally off stealth style. So wait for this guy to come in here. And 
initiate. Oh, but I won't. Oh man, I realize I'm not gonna be able to turn invisible again. Well, you know what I could do? I have another option. So the worker's the only one who's gonna go check on this gunshot, right? And I have to kill him anyway? Where is this NPC? Come on, bud. What are we doing? Oh. I thought it was this guy who came to check on it. I guess it's the wandering guard? Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh... Sorry, bud. Sorry, sorry, bud. Uh, just gonna have to put you down. Sorry about that. Real bad day and all. All right. So, the security camera's still on. I mean, I guess it... Does that matter? There's no one watching the security camera anymore. Oh, the turrets are turned off. Okay. Interesting. Wait, where are the guards? Wait, what? I guess it was them? Wait, what happened to the guards? Oh. Okay. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, sure. I, I guess. Huh. Yeah, it literally only has a jumpsuit on. Really? We don't have the keys for the locker? We killed everyone here and not one of them had the key for that locker? <laughs> it's got an eel sandwich in it. Now check to see if the protector and junkyard are hostile with you. With weapon stowed. Right. I guess if I guess it won't matter if if they're hostile we'll have to start the quest first, right? They should be from what I've seen. Okay. All right. Oh, there's no power to the elevator. Well, that's interesting. So wait, do you, for this quest, do you not have to kill, do you not have to go down to the embassy? Are you only killing the upper floor of this? Go to the lower level. It's unresponsive. Apparently the elevator doesn't work? Upper floor, yes. Oh, well the, yeah, this elevator doesn't work anymore. It's unresponsive. Uh... Huh. Oh, the turrets are back on, though. That's my bad. I forgot about the turrets. Can I get out of combat, please? Okay. I 
forgot about the turrets being back on. Huh. I guess I'll have to walk to the nearest town and then town, then fast travel? Okay. Huh. That's a, where is the nearest town? not even sure. I guess south? Oh no, we have to, we can't go through here, huh? So, I guess we can go all the way back up to rail crossing? And, oh, that just takes us into this. Which isn't gonna do us any good. Go this way and go north. Well, I guess the other option is we can go to Core City and see if I start getting shot on sight, right? Is that the other option? Or is that technically not how that works? Core City wouldn't, wouldn't care, only the Protectorate at Core City. So the guys at the dock, mainly. Okay. I think most of this should be cleaned out at this point. Oh, the crawler got hit by the train. That's what that is. And by the warehouse. Right. And the warehouse is, yeah, by the dock. That makes sense. So this should be rail crossing. And then from here we can go underground and walk over to Core City. I'm also curious if I'm able to tell them like, hey, I already did it. Mission's over. Mission's over. I did all the killing already. Oh, so the Praetorians don't care. See, I thought the Praetorians were part of the Protectorate. But that, I guess that's their own independent faction? The Praetorians and the Protectorate are not the same thing. See, I thought they were together. Praetorian... No, the Protectorate guys don't care. Not at all. They're competing, if anything. Oh, yeah, this Protectorate heavy gunner does not care. So we should be good, right? The security camera also doesn't care. Huh. I... Huh. Okay. Did I somehow just 100 stealth that mission? That's... So what? Why did Dogbiter don't go over there? Or is part of the 
primitive three companies that run the core city. Right, so the Praetorians are part of the oligarchs, and the Protectorate is from the North Rail, right? Okay. I thought they were, like, the same thing. I didn't realize they were separate. I thought the Praetorians were just a branch of the Protectorate. I didn't, I didn't realize they were separate. So now if I go to the Embassy, that would be our next way to test this, right? And if I go to the, the Embassy, what is the same as... What is the same, though, in the United, United Station, which is a branch of the Protectorate? What, the, what is the same, though, is the United Stations, which is a branch of the Protectorate. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. So, basically... What is this? Okay, so we can't actually go this way. Okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. So, the Protectorate is in charge of the United Stations. The United Stations is not in charge of the Protectorate. So the United Station is part of the Protectorate, but not exactly the same thing. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, okay. That's an interesting distinction. I wonder why they describe it that way. Okay, I think... What's this one? Lower Passage, Lower Passage. I think we should be pretty close... Wait, there's something in the locker over here? Oh, yeah, it's useless. So then from here, we should be able to go up to SGS, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not that way, Dogbiter. We need to go the other direction, please. Okay, great. Now we're back at SGS. So yeah, let's go see, I guess, if the, the embassy is mad at us? How? I don't understand. This is definitely one of those hand wavy things where it's like, how did we destroy the upper protectorate, but we don't destroy the lower protectorate, and, but somehow we still sabotage their elevator? That seems odd to me. I mean, there's... We can probably stealth kill all the embassy people, too, if we really have to. Now that I've kind of figured out stealth a little bit. It's very janky, but I, I kind of get it now. Actually, you want to start combat visible and then only turn invisible once you've done stuff. Also, I don't care for these respawning bugs. Oh, Fisherman's still here. Hello, Fisherman. Let's go see what happens. Are they gonna attack me on site? Yes, they are. Yes, yes, they are. So, huh. So yeah, I guess as long as we don't come back to junk junkyard. We won't have any trouble? Which is fine by me. We really don't come to junkyard much. Huh. Okay. That's probably fine then. 
interesting. Oof, the double critical. Oh, that was an ambush critical. Nice. Man, that's gotta be startling, huh? Garen's key card for junkyard. Huh. Okay. Just watching some dude come out of nowhere and just blast two of them. See, the only real problem is I have to take the long way back to the top now since I don't have. We can't use the elevator. We have to go basically all the way back to SGS and then go through the tram system to get over there. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Okay, the bug doesn't care. I'm good. We're good. We're good. At least when we under we cleared out like the under under rail, we got some shortcuts. But this is just a slog of a run. I guess we could take the ferry over there too. Oh no, the ferry wouldn't work because that's just back to junkyard. Forgot the whole point of this is we can't go to the junkyard. We basically need to go to uh, south, or uh, what do you call it? Oh, that's the wrong one. We go to rail crossing. We can start the mission, immediately succeed on the mission. Leads us to a dead end. We can go up. Okay, we go this way. Where does this take us? Ah, but this is the one we have to blow up to get access to. Actually, it's probably worth it, honestly. We have the TNT. We might as well just use it, you know? Just to make getting around in these caves easier. Wow, that did just enough damage to let us out. Okay. That's just one big, big, long tunnel, huh? Fair enough. Yeah, but this gives us access, and this leads right to the free drones area. Cool. It's crazy how close those are if you go that way. So we go this way. I don't think there's a faster way, right? I mean, the other one, I guess, would have been a little faster. You cut out one section. Well, no, I guess you've got this, so it's kind of the same. 30,000 heat. Hit the rock for 60,000 heat damage. My mind that implies that the rocks are actually more... take more damage from, like, lasers and plasma than they would from bullets. Which I guess that's... I don't know if that's true. Also, C mine. I don't know why that's up there. So, this is just such a long walk. At least we're most of the way there. I 
and there's nothing to this. I literally just have to keep walking. One downside of the fast travel system in this. All right, Jazz. Ready? Commence the attack. All right, boys. You heard Dogbiter McGillity. Death to the Protectorate. For free drones, go team Dogbiter McGillicuddy. Charge to war. Ah, hurrah. Invictus! 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 In oh my god. That's too much. I have no idea what's about to happen. We still have that save from earlier, so. All right, what are we doing? It's been quiet so far. I guess the cans don't know we are coming. Wait here, I can signal you when to proceed. What? Okay, the power is still out. All right, yeah, looks like they're still all dead and there's no one new here. Yeah, I think we're good. I guess once they've seized the top part of the elevator, something, something, profit? All right. Uh, right behind you, death of the cans. Well, they do let me go first, which is good. Um, what's up, team? Where'd, where'd we all go? Did we just teleport inside? Oh, we did. Okay, we just literally teleported inside. Got it. <laughs> They're all looking around like, uh, wait, what happened? Okay, so they just path all the way back to this corner to make sure everything's dead. Huh. Okay. As long as everything's dead, I assume we succeeded? Uh, wait. Where's my character? Oh, we weigh too much to move. It's like, why, why aren't we going anywhere? That's my bad. Okay, there we go. Just take all this stuff and consolidate it into, like, one barrel. probably much on them. No, just a jumpsuit. I assume I just gotta talk to Jazz then and we're good? Because everyone's just kind of wandering around like they don't know what to do. But it's gonna be extra fun as if they're all super excited about how awesome the combat was. That's really gonna be fun. Although I'm worried that if the jet ski will be jet skis will be hostile. Yeah. Yeah. That is a concern. Actually. Yeah, we'll just do it from here, I guess. Doesn't really matter where we stash this stuff. Almost it just gets stashed. That's my inventory so heavy. Must have picked up a bunch of grenades or something. Oh, we picked up a nine. We picked up 800 rounds of ammunition. That's why. Got it. Don't quite need that much ammo. There we go. That's where it's supposed to be. Okay, cool. All right, Jazz. I need to talk to you, bud. We've done it. The cans have been crushed. The area is secure. Awaiting. Okay. What did you say? Team, why are we just... No. I, I think he's speaking in his native language. I can't tell what he's saying. If you go to Core City and stay in the core ring, the Protectorate's keys should show up. Okay. 
I don't remember where my jet ski is. I, I think it's off the it's off the dock of Core City. I think, right? I think it's off the dock of Core City. I mean, if the protectorate in Core City isn't danger isn't hostile, I would hope that the other ones wouldn't be. Yeah? Okay. It's where I thought I left it. Which it sure is nice that people don't steal stuff off the ground. I appreciate that. In this dog dog bite dog McGillicuddy world. You would think people would just take things they, that they see on the ground that might have value, but no, they sure don't. All right, let's go talk to them and see if we're done. I don't, I don't know. It will be this, I guess, the last thing we do before we initiate the finality of this of this module. I think that's going to be most of the quest anyway. I mean, there's still a bunch of places we could go just go wander around and explore, but I'm not really worried about mapping every single part of the underworld. Yeah? Okay. Oh, that was about the jet ski thing. Never mind. Yeah, after we do this, I'm trying to think what our next big in-betweener module thing's gonna be. I'm not sure. I'm sure I've got something on the list I'll have to take a look at and see, but I'm assuming we've probably still got a several weeks of this before we're actual done. From what I understand, that final area you've all been warning me about is an absolute nightmare. All right, Trenton, we did it. We found the the spy and actively took over this thing. South Railroad Outpost has been conquered. Trenton raises his clenched fist. Excellent work, excellent work, Dog Butter McGillicuddy. Now our fighters can move in and fortify the outpost. We finally managed to rid lower under rail of the protectorate cans. What about the embassy? The absolute joy, you mean? I mean, I mean, for someone like Ika, who, who's into that kind of thing, yeah. Uh, the guy who, who created uh, Dark Souls, who's a huge, like, masochist, probably would love it. But for me, it's probably going to be pretty rough. They never expected us, and we offered no, we suffered no casualties. Exposing bait is, in time has paid off. It certainly did. This turned out to be an almost flawless operation. I suppose the combination of Epian's, con Epian's destruction and bait not wearing, warning them in time was enough for us to catch them off guard. They did, however, dispatch some reinforcements, but our fighters have been waiting for them. We've managed to halt their advance. Even if the cans have managed to re reach SRO, it would have it would have been far too late. We're not done yet. Next stop, Fort Epigee. I'm afraid not. We need to secure SRO first, and later the embassy. In due time, we are we are stretched thin at the moment. We suffered many casualties recently, so we need to freshen up our ranks before we proceed. We are also getting short on equipment. Now the junkyard is free of protectorate influence. It absolutely is not, since the you know embassy is still there. We can we could present them with the truth about those tyrants. Hopefully, some will decide to help our cause. And all that takes time, Dog Bender Gilcuddy, but rest assured we will be driving those pigs out of South Underrail eventually. Mark my words. He nods. Never a dull moment. Okay. Aren't you worried that the Protectorate might try to retake South Rail Outpost? Of course. But take this into consideration. Protectorate completely lost control in Lower Underrail. If they plan on attacking us, they'll have to go through Core City. There's just no other way. That means that we will always always know when they're coming and be prepared. And now there is no indica indication that we will make any attempts at reconquering SRO. We won for now. But I think we're not keeping our eyes open, Dog Biter McGillicuddy. Okay, so long and stay free. We got three XP for that and absolutely no, no other reward, apparently. Okay, cool. I would have thought maybe some Sharons or some equipment, but no, we were given no additional rewards. Cool. Interesting. Do you have anything for me? He greets you with his arms wide open. We did it, Dogbiter McGillicuddy. Darn. South. 
Dang, South Railroad Outpost and Embassy were a painful thorn in our sides. Now it all belongs to the free drones. Yeah. That's the first step. Next up, Fort Apogee. Shouldn't relax too much. The protectorate is still strong in South Underrail. If it wasn't for me, you'd all be sitting in this hole, hole doing nothing. Next up, Fort Apogee. Yeah, once we burn it down, the protector is pretty much gone from South Underrail. I've been instructed by Trenton to prepare some fine equipment for you. Take a pick. Your armor, weapons, and side equipment to choose from. What'll it be? Um, armor, show me the weapons. Uh, I mean, armor probably? Leather suit, right gear, tactical vest. Actually, I'm interested in weapons. Actually, I'm interested in size stuff. Weapons, I assume, is... Yeah, it's just this statement breakdown. Yeah, I guess give me uh, a tactical vest. Here you go. He gives you a tactical vest. Perfect. Is it any good? Wow, it is not. It is not particularly great. Five, eight... 5, 8, and a 29. Has one better stealth, but... <laughs> 4 less raw mechanical damage, but 3 percentile more mechanical resistance. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is, uh... Mildly underwhelming. I wonder if I could re-roll and try to get something better. Wait, hold on, hold on. How much... Okay, we're good. How much is... That's worth 14000 Dang, that's a lot of money. All right, that's fine. We'll just keep it and sell it. 14000 is a lot of money, and even if the armor's not better than what we've got. All right. Well, there we go. That takes care of that. We went and got that the other snipper riffle. I think we're pretty well set up then for... Uh, starting the final leg of this journey. I mean, technically, I could go on a bunch of shopping, like, selling sprees and try to sell a bunch of stuff, but I'm less worried about that. Let's see. Can you sell... It's not really an independent weapons vendor here. Like, you would kind of be them, but even then, not really? I don't have any, like, cheap... I just need some cheap, cheap tungsten, perhaps? Oh, you do have magnesium powder, I guess. I guess I'll take some magnesium powder from you. I'm gonna talk to you too, Miles. You got anything in here? MP mine, MP grenade. No. You do want three firearms. Unfortunately, I don't have any extra to sell right now. I guess we'll just head back to Core City, and then we can probably wrap it up for today. Bring whatever you think would be useful. Yeah, that's going to be the hard part. Um, do I need to concern myself at all with... Um, like, selling things? Is there going to be any merchant work in this at all? Or is it just going to basically all... Oh, you know what? We never did. We never got in here. I don't know what this is for. We never figured this one out. But yeah, is there any, do I need to like save a bunch of space for selling stuff or is it basically just gonna be one long like assault mission? Where it's more about having ammo and medical supplies than it is uh, worrying about vendors. For DC, yeah, dark, what is it, deep caverns or whatever? Whatever the last part of this, the thing with the, uh, tort is going to be. It's more supplies, I guess. Okay. Second? Okay. Got it. Alright. Yeah, we'll just make sure to bring as much... Well, we'll bring some extra ammo, some extra explosives and stuff. Yeah. Extra batteries isn't a bad idea either. I mean, that's basically as much armor-piercing bullets as I have right now. Oh, good. His inventory just reset, I think. Graphite. 
Okay, yeah, his inventory just reset. Awesome. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so what does he want? Three firearms? Uh, we have the firearms. Guaranteed. We want to eat most of his resources, but not necessarily all of them. Like two of these. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you have any high-end grenades? You still continue to not have any high-end grenades, Oscar. Why? Oh, the Protectorate Skis. We have not checked on the Protectorate Skis yet. So if he reset, you should have reset. You have no ammo. You do want two crossbows, though. That actually might be something I can give you. Hold on. Ah, I do have some crossbows for you. A couple of expensive ones in here. We'll do these two. That should be about, I think, her cash limit. Wow, no, she actually has quite a bit of money left. She's got another 6,000 left. Awesome. Oh no, she only wanted two crossbows, though. That actually won't do us any good. Yeah, we can go check the Protectorate skis right now and see what happens. I love that there was no mention of the fact that I cleaned up that whole area by myself before the fight even started. That's fun. But we need lots of salad and juice. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, there's my jet ski. That guy is staring at it hard. I don't care for it. Grimy, Ursula, Soot, Grunge. So what is this? What am I looking for exactly with the jet ski thing? Random Island. Am I just looking to see if any of the Protectorate, if I can find someone Protectorate and have them like, shoot at me? Um. Okay, that's all Core Ring. Okay, there's a Core Ring Protectorate outpost. Just hang out in the Core Ring and there should be some Protectorate. There were some protectorate boats. They didn't seem particularly hostile. Jet skier. All right, so, so far, the couple of people who could have been protectorate haven't attacked me. Okay, Protectorate Outpost is the next area over. Let's go over there and see. Okay, yeah, another Protectorate turrets or snipers or anybody you're shooting at me. So we actually should be good, I think. No one's attacking me. Can I disembark? Okay, no, if I disembark, they immediately start shooting at me. Okay, cool. So it seems like as long as I don't break any additional rules. Yeah, I think we're good. They're not shooting me on site, which is really all we can kind of hope for. Yeah, they're not shooting me on site. We're good. Man, this is going to be a terrible thing to have to do as a sniper, though, I think. 
I have to imagine we have, we're going to have serious disadvantage trying to shoot with a precision weapon during a bunch of jet skiing. God, that water looks so gross. It just looks so gross. Even ran into those other jet skiers and none of them attacked me on sight either. Disembark. Quartz and he dominates. Alright. Sure it does, bud. Sure it does. Alright. I guess we're good. Yeah, we're just gonna get some salads then and um What else? Yeah, salads and load up on uh, armor piercing rounds, I guess. I guess JKK technically has a vendor, right? We can go check and see if they've got any armor piercing bullets. Get, make sure you get eel sandwiches, too. Okay. Let's see. Let me see what kind of food I've got right now. We don't have really... I have five salads, so that's not, not too big a deal. I don't have any extra juice. I've only got the two on me, so we probably go buy a, buy a bunch of juice. Um... So yeah, we'll have... How many salads do we think we're going to need? Eel sandwiches. Eel sandwiches, unfortunately, I think I've only got like one. Yeah, I've got two eel sandwiches, so we're gonna have to go get a couple of eel sandwiches. Yeah, how many salads do we think we're gonna need? Like 10 and 10 and 10? Do we think 10 sandwiches, 10 salads, and 10 juice is gonna be enough for this? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, cool. So we can get another salad. Bacon and cheese sandwich. Consume increases maximum health by 20. That is nothing. It's like one low-end pistol bullet. You don't have any of the other stuff I need, huh? I'll take one salad from you. Thank you. Okay, one salad. Let's see. We gotta go talk to What's-His-Face if we want juice. Want juice? We gotta go talk to what's his face. Salad and eel sandwiches. There is the lady vendor on the top floor we can go talk to. She also ha might have some stuff. Oh wait, the bar itself is actually a food vendor. I keep thinking that they're only for doing quests for, but no, they're actually food vendors. I forgot about that. We're also only two XP away from a from another level. What level are we now? Um, doesn't really tell me, unfortunately. Level 23. Not too bad. It said max level is 30, right? I guess that's not too bad. have is potato chips and booze. I guess you are just a bar, but come on, man. Yeah, although look, 26 through 30 is DLC levels. Oh. So 25 is the, the cap for the non-DLC stuff then? How we 
you doing? Zilla. Really? You don't have anything for me here. I mean, I guess I could probably take some stuffed bats with me, too. Dex by one. Perception by one. And some bats. Ugh, I'll take your stuffed bats, I guess. Thanks. I don't spend so much money wandering around. Trying to find food vendors, of all things. So I would say that's probably not too bad. We'll probably get a little XP while we're down there at some point. If it's like all the other zones, it'll have its own specialty XP oddities thing, right? And then we should be able to probably get at least two more XP. That'll get us to 24. So that's good. So, I mean, if we can get to 24 of 25 with the Oddities XP system, I would say that's pretty thorough, actually, of us. I'm not sure what else we missed exactly, but... Considering we did most of the quests... And only kind of skipped... Oops, only skipped the ones that were contradictions to the other ones we were doing. I would say that's not too bad. this stuff in here. Okay. Dang. Just so much nonsense. So much nonsense that we've acquired. Oh yeah, I forgot about the cloaking device thing. There's a few isolated of one XP quest. Yeah, I'm not... I mean, I guess we if we had two of them that were really easy to do just to finish up this last this level, that would be nifty, but I'm not that worried about it. Uh, meet your squad, and... Okay, so that's done. All right, yeah, so... Bring it dead on steel. Not worried about that. So yeah, we just gotta finish getting through the short stuff. Don't even have an open, active short short quest right now. Let's see, there's a few, and then the hardest 1xp one is the fishing tour one. <laughs> the fishing tour? Oh my. That sounds interesting. Any other food vendors? I don't think there are any other food vendors, right? Oh, I can go in this door? Oh, it's locked and it's not pickable. Never mind. Oh, you know what we never did? From Geezer Ford. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, we asked the fisherman guy about Geezer Ford. I. I don't know why, like, what that is. I forgot about this, though. There's still this one thing. Uh, sewer, sewer mutant boss. There was this boss down here that was like a sewer mutant? I have no idea what this was about. the sewer pit. Yeah, there was just like a respawning. Yeah, this guy. I have no idea what this guy's deal is. But then he would... He respawns, right? So it's mostly just a bunch of contamination down here. Oh, there's valves. Ah, okay, so that's what we're doing. That's what's going on, okay. So we have to turn the valves off and then hopefully he stopped at attacking us? Wait, what? 
Why am I getting contaminated? Do Oh, he's back already. Oh, he's back already. Well, that's bad. Closing the valve. Ow. Could you not? Okay, we are slightly faster than him. But only slightly faster. Okay, well, he, he did that to us. Wasn't counting on that. Oh, yee. This is a really odd quest. Out of blot. That's cured by floating junk? Okay, so we probably don't need to use our armor piercing bullets for this. I do have to do this in the right order. Okay. Ah, I was trying to get away from him. Okay, that actually worked. gonna matter. Oh, he's he's chasing us, but like Dog Biter, why would you do that, bud? Got it. Ow! Seriously, I shot him and then exploded the- And the module crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it crashes on us. Of course it does. Oh, it doesn't like me being down there fighting him. Uh, all the lurkers, of course, thank you. You have the Twitch world going around. We always appreciate you. Anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch or checks the VODs on the YouTube repository, thank you. It's always greatly appreciated. Those numbers help keep me motivated. If you need a well-thought-out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hilbrook Inc., thinking solutions. And that's going to be it for me, team. I hope you have a good rest of whatever you're up to. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's it for me. Bye!